Today we're making marbled paper with Maker Crate! Yay! Some assembly required. So let's see what they gave us inside our Maker Crate for this month. Marbled paper. Ooh. So there's the little inspiration manual right here. And then we have our paper that we can do stuff to. Marble. Yeah, these look like these look like the envelopes and cards and stuff. Whoa, there's a lot of sticker sheets. There's like Oh wow. A bunch. I thought there was only going to be one. Oh yeah, a bunch of sticker sheets, a bunch of watercolor paper, and some rice paper. I believe this rice paper goes on the inside of some of the bigger envelopes. So basically, we marble the paper and then turn it into a stationery. It's a little bit crushed. Yes, the, the project that they have is adding marbleizing to stationery. Mm -hmm. Got a little paint tray. And we have the weird carrageenan, which is from seaweed. That's going to thicken up our water so that our paint sits on the top of it and does not just sink to the bottom because if you sink to the bottom, it is not going to marble. <gasps> and then we have our toothpicks. Toothpicks. And a whisk. Ooh, that is a cute whisk. <laughs> Love it. It's a little um, sharp. It's a lot sharp, actually. I might file that down before we use it. This nice soft paintbrush. I would call that not soft. It's like gloopy though, so we can like like yeah. that. And then we have our little like rake thingy. Oh so we sure. Can marble. Like a giant comb. <laughs> you can't brush mine. It's in the braids. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yes. Now yes. Later. No. And then we have our paints. So this is special paint. They put something in it to make it a little bit thinner, so that it sits on top of the watery goo gooey water <laughs> and then we have our glue stick the glue stick is for sticking the insides of the envelopes to the envelopes and then in here are marbling tools should i open it yeah pop them open Ooh, what kind of marbling tools do we get whoa, whoa what are those <laughs> oh pipettes <laughs> baby pipettes i was not <laughs> expecting those and then we have our um thing they call thing. it a stylus that you dip in the paint and then you can put it in the water. Metal stylus. And also you can swirl it around. Oh, well, here's our measuring oh, teaspoon. teaspoon yep. And here's our plastic stylus. Cool, which we could also use for sewing. <laughs> Gigantic sewing needle. And then here we have our little tray thingy. It's not how I expected, it's very like plasticky. Yes, it's very thinner than I would have thought. And here's our little messy matte wax paper deal. So, ah, paint colors, light blue. Purple, dark blue. I say when we put it in the paint tray thing, you put them in, in rainbow order because like most of they these all colors look, look all the same. same. <laughs> Red, mm. green, and yellow. Rainbow. Yes, rainbow. Yes. Cool, okay. So, what we're going to do is check out the instructions inside the little booklet. They have a scanny thing, QR code. Mm. It's got a name. I knew it had a name. It's way back there. So, we'll scan the little QR code, figure out how to make it. And it also says that you have to let your carrageenan thicken up your water for at least two hours. So, um, we'll be doing something else for a while after we do the directions. Okay, cool. So, we are going to make the solution for the squishy water. You know what I mean. We need to mix five cups of water with two teaspoons of the carrageenan, which is here. So first, let us put our water in the bowl. I'm gonna pour it in. Okay, one cup. Let's get another. Two, three, four, and five. Now, the instructions just said hot water. They didn't say how hot, so we just used tap water. Our tap water is pretty hot, so it should be fine. Yeah. Now, we open this guy. Okay, so here's and you're supposed to stir when it's going in. Yeah. So 
So little by little so it doesn't get super clumpy. So our little plastic tray holds two and a half cups. So this is a double batch. So if you wanted to make a single batch, it would be two and a half cups and one little teaspoon scoop. But they suggested to make a double batch. In case your first one gets like muddy. Yeah, if, if it gets icky, you'll have one already on backup because we do need to wait three hours, although some parts of it said two hours and then some parts said three. We'll give it three to make sure it's nice and thick to let it really thicken up. They also said that if there's clumps in it, they'll go away eventually, probably. So it's mostly dissolved. There are a few little clumpy bits. We might have to give it a little stir later. So what we're going to do is transfer it to this little bin that we can close. Let it sit for three hours and then, then we'll be back. I'm going to pour it upstairs next to the sink so I can clean it up when I spill it everywhere. <laughs> It's been three and a little bit hours. So this has been sitting for as long as it's supposed to sit. And Ooh, there are no clumps. No clumps. This definitely seems thicker. So what we're going to do is pour half of that in there. But I'm doing it up by the sink because I know how these pour and it's not pretty. Okay, so I put half in Ish. here. I have no idea how far up it is supposed to be filled, but there's some watery stuff in there. Enough? <laughs> You'll see. The second step is we have to take the paints, like open up the paints, get rid of the little ring thingies and, and make sure stab them no, with a toothpick. And make sure there's no clogged paint. So <laughs> we'll do that. And then we'll dump them in here in some sort of order so that we can tell the difference between all the dark, dark and dark. <laughs> So we have prepared the paint and put it in thing. Yeah, we put about five drops because it doesn't seem like it uses very much. And they said, you know, just little by little, let's do it slow. Can I do it first? Sure. So um, we still have no idea what we're doing. Oh, yeah, course, we have keeping, to skim the water. in mind. You were supposed to skim the surface of the water to make sure that there's no dust or anything or any extra paint and stuff. So... That's that. Are you ready to watch? I am ready to watch. So um, one way to do it is to just grab a little drop and gently touch it to the surface. Don't poke it through the surface, they said, because mm -hmm. probably then it goes too far down. Cool. And then you clean off the thingy in between. And now should I add loop? Sure. Here, do you want to do one? It's like magic. Yeah, I want to do this one, I guess. Are we doing that? Yeah. I'm going to do yellow next. Okay. Yeah, so they all show up as very, very light colors in the pool, but then apparently on the paper, it, they're it'll be brighter. much brighter. Because the blue is clear. It's basically clear, yeah. yeah. But they said the, like some colors you won't be able to see, but they're actually still there. We'll so see. So I'm going to do purple. Okay. And maybe some colors spread more than others, but it could also be how you do it. We don't yeah, know enough I was, to really know yet. I wasn't, I was not doing it correctly there. That's fine. Now, can I have the rake? So you're just supposed to like... Do you want me to swirl it a little bit and no, then I'll, rake it? Just rake it. I, I like the, the rake. Yeah, there are basically so many different ways to do it that we're just going to have to do... Ew, it's neat! <laughs> this is going to be so fun. That's all. That's all. Just I one want. little swirl? Okay. I like it like that. Okay. Would you like to also be the paper putter on her? Yes, please. So I guess we don't know what we're doing. I believe that what we're supposed to be trying to do is just put it onto the top of the paper, not poke it in too far. And then push down and a little tiny can... bit on the edges. Yeah, a little bit. probably fine if the back gets a little bit colorful and then, and then slide to... it across to get extra liquid off whoa that is pretty whoa like it's way more colorful you can totally pretty. see the blue oh that was so fun oh that is really neat now we have our little drying rack set up and apparently we're not supposed to worry if it gets all wrinkly good <laughs> so i believe 
that you don't really want to watch us do this in real time. We'll try it from the overhead camera and speed it up. And then we're gonna try a whole bunch of different things and see what we like best and see what works. We're gonna just try out some stuff on the watercolor type paper. Yeah, this is just like extra. Yeah, it's just sort of... To start. We'll see. We'll be back and hopefully have information. This was the feathering technique. Mm, yeah, we think maybe. It's where you put it in the, like, the dots and then you take the stylus, stylus and you like swirl it around. It has a little bubble maybe, or I don't know what happened there, but the rest of it's cool, so. Yeah, mm. and there were cool hearts. Yeah, so if you make a, a circle, or maybe a couple of circles on top of each other and drag through, it's a heart. So I made these rainbow hearts because I love rainbows. Who doesn't, really? They are cool. They turned out really, really neat. Yeah. So like hearts, one. hearts are cool. Hearts are really cool. So maybe next we'll try a stationary package. Ooh. So we have, I guess we'll make a set. I don't, I, we'll have to figure out how many of each thing we need and then we'll just make the same sort of pattern so they all kind of match show you in a sec. So here's what we get. You can tear these in half and then just make the big pieces one color and the small pieces another color or pattern or whatever. I think it would be easier to do it all in one. You get two cards and stickers for the big envelopes and two cards and you know ceiling stickers for the little envelopes. Which means that we're gonna do two of the little rice paper envelope inserts for the, for the small size, and, and two, you guessed it, for the big ones. Mm. So we'll try to kind of match all of these together so it'll be a set yeah. of stationery. It would be a cool gift, but it's probably not gonna be. We're probably gonna keep it. So there are, I guess, three different colors. Famous Maker Crate dull colors. Uh, there's sort of a dusty rose color. Is that chartreuse? No. Brownish yellow. Yeah, sort of a mustardy green. Blue and then mustardy. dark blue, maybe you would call that a peacock blue. So there are three different options. I don't think we're going to care about if we match with them. So we're not going to let them limit us. Here we go. Lily's gonna make some flowers. She's working on the background now. It's gonna be cool. I like them. It's really cool. Especially the baby one. Now in all this time we have not changed our water. It's getting a little bit icky, but it's still, whoa, looks. Wow. Wow. Oh, by the way, they taught us how to do it. I didn't just make that up. This is cooler though.
This one's really cool. No idea what this is going to look like. Me neither. <laughs> it's everything splattered around. Ooh! <sighs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I made dots and she splattered on them. And I learned we could mix, you can mix colors and it's like yellow with like blue. It's cool. This is really fun. Like really fun. It even looks cool when you don't marble it, even though it's like marbling. It looks cool if you just do like just dots, dots instead of dots inside of dots. Speckles and stuff. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. Um, we have some more projects planned mm -hmm. for later, but not this video. So we need to wait for these things to dry. And then if they are really warped and wiggly, we can either put them under a book or iron them. And then we'll make a stationery. Yeah, show how the stationery is made. Everything is dry and it looks super awesome. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, the final project is to put together the little stationery packages. So I'm going to make the big card and the big envelope. And I'm going to make the small envelope and the small cart. Because I'm big. And I'm small. <laughs> this is why we have the glue. Basically, you just open up your envelope. Mine is already open. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're fitting there's a, properly. There's a big. Not that way. This way. <laughs> there's a big and a small. Like, yeah. This one's bigger than these ones. Yeah. You basically just match it up and you're like, yeah, that looks good. Or you're like, nah, that's probably not right. And this is for the inside coloring of the envelope. Exactly. You know, so you'll close up your envelope and you'll be like, oh, it's pretty inside. That's what we're doing. That's it. Basically, we're just going to glue it down, squish it on, then on the little card. You just stick on the sticker. Stick on the sticker. You're not going to close them because, you know. There's nothing on them. <laughs> there's nothing written on the cards. So we'll, you know, we'll show you what it would potentially look like. So here we go. So you can glue the envelope shut, like the uh, pockety side of it, or you can just seal it all at the end with a sticker. We glued it shut. We decided to glue it shut since we're not putting on the stickers right now. And we don't want it to open and be all crazy. Cute little envelope. So cute. Now we'll do our big stickers. You have your small sticker. Okay, so here's a small problem. The sticker part, yay, great, it's totally sticky, but the front has peeled off. So I guess I'll just go ahead and glue that on. That's fine, I'm sure. Um, mine has totally worked, except for right here. It's a tiny bit. Yeah, yours just a tiny bit. Oh, uh, and then you do it on the front of the card. Yeah, well, yours is a card, mine is just a square. So that wasn't too hard, aside from the, the small sticker incident. So here's my card and envelope. And here's your card and envelope. And then also there's round stickers. To close it. To close it up. See, and I put my little card inside. Cute! I like how they're so different. And I also am kind of impressed that we picked colors that would match perfectly with the envelopes. We haven't found one that matched with the weird grello. Yellow. Grello. Grello. Mustard grello. This yeah. is a cool project. Yeah, it's really fun. It was super fun to do the marbling. And then you also have like a cute little envelope. You don't just make something and then it's just like you throw it away a week later. Right. We like to have uh, a useful, useful craft and this is totally useful. So. Thumbs up for me. Some of my friends are going to get pretty envelopes <laughs> in their cards. Pretty mail. I think that this was a great maker crate. I am pleased with it. So happy. I think maybe we really like marbling, so we have some ideas cooking make sure you check back with us we already have the next maker crate box but i'm gonna 
give it a couple weeks before we do that project because I like to space them out. Until then, if you enjoy this kind of thing, keep an eye out for all the new Maker Crate videos and there have been a bunch that we already did. Ooh, maybe I can try to connect a playlist up here. If it's not there, I can't. If you enjoy them and you would like to see more, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already so you don't miss the next one. I totally forget what it is, but it looked fun. Click the notification bell and we will let you know when all of the videos come out. They come out on Tuesdays. And Saturdays. And until the next video, we will be here thinking of awesome crafty ideas and doing awesome crafty things and thinking of cool videos to do for you. So we will see you then. In the meantime, 